Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick video here on how to touch up your photos in Photoshop. It might be the same tools in Photoshop Elements, but if you happen to have a Photoshop, here's a couple quick hints for you. Um, if your photo has little spots here that are uh, usually from your lens or your sensor, quick way to get rid of those is to click your healing brush tool here, a little band-aid. Um, what I do is I actually scroll through my band-aids until I get the content aware band-aid. You can see up here that content aware checked off. And that way you don't need a sample. You just take your little brush and brush over the spot and it'll grab from around it to uh, heal that spot. Here's another spot right here. I'm just going to brush over it. And then whammo, it's, it's gone. It's all fixed. Next, if your background is not a pure white, you might have some gray in the corners or edges because your light didn't get all the way around. Uh, what you can do is you go to your adjustment layers over here. Let me go get this tool. You can see this little box I have right here called adjustments. You can get it in your windows here and click uh, adjustments. So this little box here appears. And then click this little one here that has a little curve to it. Now I'll create a new layer over here of curves. Let me bring the curve palette over and you'll see this curves here. What you want to grab is this little eyedropper here is called your white spot eyedropper. And that will give you a white dropper. And now wherever you click on your image, that's telling Photoshop that spot is pure white. So I'm going to click right here down the gray area and the whole image will adjust. But that now the background is all pure white. And if your subject is too bright because of that, you can go to the mask tool here, hit your brush, switch to black, and I'm going to make sure I have a soft brush. And then I usually change my opacity to down to 30 or 40 percent, but I can then brush over that spot. And you can see here my curves that's masking out this area at 30 to 40 percent. And if it's still not, you can go over it again and make it a little bit darker. But that will mask out that area from being too bright from your curves adjustment. The next thing I'm going to do with this image here is I'm going to, I want to just paint out my uh, pole and stuff here to make a nice, just a shirt. So I already have my brush tool. I want to click over here and make sure I, I have white selected. Go back to 100%. And then I'm hitting my control button on the Mac. I don't know what it is on PC, sorry. And then click. And then I'm changing the hardness back down to 80 or 90 percent. That will give me a hard edge instead of a soft edge. And then I want to make sure I'm on the layer that the image is not on, uh, not the curves. So now I can just paint out, make my brush a little bit smaller. And I can just paint out this area. You know, I'm going to go a little slow. I use a pen tool instead of my mouse. So I have a little more precise control. But if you're careful, you can do it with a mouse. And you don't have to be too precise. I think that looks good. That looks fine. And I'll do the same thing up here with the small brush. And then go to a little bit bigger brush and paint out the rest. And now I'm done. Now most of you are probably doing shooting in JPEG. I shoot in uh, RAW. So I have to do one more step to convert my image to uh, sRGB, which is what the web is. Color space wise, I have it in a macro. So, but if you're shooting JPEG, you're probably already in the color space sRGB. I'm speaking Greek to you, sorry. If you're shooting JPEG, you don't have a problem with that. And then I just save my file out. Now, if your camera's capable, I would uh, go ahead and shoot in RAW if you have the chance. Because RAW is going to give you a lot more uh, leeway to adjust your image before you even bring it to Photoshop as far as color correction and all that stuff. And I save it as a level 9 JPEG because you don't need it that big. And if you're, let me just do a quick show here. 
I didn't worry about it, but on your image size, if your resolution is 240 or 300 or whatever it is your camera shoots, you don't need that big. And sometimes eBay will say uh, it's too big to load. Change this to 72 before you save it. Click on image, image size, and change this to 72. And if you want, you can judge the height and width. But the web will not show anything larger than 72 DPI anyway. So the file size is just too big and it wastes download time. Um, so change it to 72 before you save. And then you can do a save as. I'll just do a resave it as JPEG. I'm going to replace it since I already did that. And then I save it as a, as a 9 or a 10. You don't need anything higher. If you do anything higher, it's just wasted uh, size and slows down downloads. So, especially if you're doing that on your own website. So that's it. Quick tips on Photoshop on your uh, images. Um, again, it, those tools might be the same in Photoshop Elements. So if you use Elements, then you can look for them. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email or post in the comments. Thank you.